What's up, YouTube? Um, uh, this week we're at Martinsville. Yeah. Fucking Martinsville. I'm gonna let the paint schemes load here for a second, so, uh, I'm gonna turn off the audio so you can't hear all the drivers doing that for a really good reason, because there was a lot of folks in this race that got their feelings hurt, <laughs> which is to be expected. I mean, it's Martinsville. It's not a very big track at all. And uh, yet some people kind of drove it like it was, I guess. I don't know. Um, just a lot of incidents in this race. But uh, without further ado, let's get it going. Oh, also, by the way, don't ask me how, but I somehow finished second place. Um, his strategy seemed a little weird to me. It seemed like no one else really knew what to do. Um, what I happened to do kind of worked out for me, so here we go. first caution and as you can see there in the beginning I got caught up with some douche I think he was trying to block me he was just really late with it I don't know it was like he just turned down to the inside line from the outside line like I was never there um, yeah, see what I mean I would have thought with as many laps as we had put down there 
I mean, we did like six. I for sure thought more people would have pitted. I was caught off guard by how few people pitted. I mean, I could understand, you know, maybe the top five or six, but it seemed like way more in the back should have pitted there. Let's get this back green. There's a lot of these cautions, too, by the way. It's Martinsville, to be expected. <laughs> And as you can see, once again, under caution, and from what you could see there at the end of that, there were some of those hurt feelings. Um, not a lot of like, nice language on the mics this race. It got pretty ugly for a while. Um, quite a few people, I believe, got disqualified. The 16 at the very end, you'll see me I barely tag him, but apparently he was at his limits for incidents, and bye-bye he went. Which, hey, it happens. I've been there. But, uh, I didn't pit that second stop. And I was still shocked at how few trucks pitted there. By now I would have thought, okay, you know, now the leaders are going to go. But no. They hung tough. And again, another classic example. You know, we're at Martinsville. I'm on the bottom lane. No way do they not know I'm there. And they just turn down like all that track is still available to them. Like you're not even there. It's kind of ridiculous at how bad some people are at this. <laughs> you know, now you understand when you watch NASCAR on Sunday you know they're professionals and they do it too I mean it's I don't know if it's brain farts I don't know it's just some people aren't very cautious I guess I don't know 
I mean, there's a spotter in the game. There's a spotter you can download outside the game to use. They do tell you when someone's there. Unless you're using some spotter pack someone created that ain't worth the shit, maybe, or was coded wrong. I don't know. But it's a little ridiculous. But anyway, it didn't mess the truck up that bad. If any at all. So we're going to get this going back green here. Caution again. Like I said, there were quite a few of these. A little more than I'd have liked to have seen. And again, only one taker in the pits towards the front. Like, these guys just did not want to pit. I don't know what was going on. And like, even the people behind me there, you see, didn't pit. It's like maybe two, three trucks each cycle. A little crazy. And I know they were staying out for track position, but you see where I pitted earlier, and look where I'm at. I'm restarting fourth. I just don't get the not pitting. It's just w worn tires and more chances to mess your safety rating up. But let's get back to green. And right back to caution. <laughs> I want to say I pit this time. Because where I locked the wheels up there, yeah, going into one and two. And had to stay way up high. This would be my last pit stop. And again, you see, it's like two or three of us go in and that's it. Everyone else just keeps staying out. So here we get put towards the back again. Looks like we'll be, well, we're not that far back really. 
A lot of people lapped down. A lot of people DQ'd. And we'll go back green. We're back under yellow, and I just want to show this in slow motion. Exactly what happens here. Watch, right behind the leader is the 20 truck followed by the 11 there going into the corner. Watch, this is the true core accordion effect. Here it is. The 11 gets a better run going in, doesn't woe up, gets into the 20, then woes up. The 4 gets into the 11, he has to woe up. So the 16 sees what's going on, he's woeing up. Here comes the 13 into the 16 as the 16's getting into the 4. The one car behind me sees what's going on is woeing up the truck behind him is getting into him as i just stay on the outside there i'm not worried about woeing up it's all kind of helping me here and the one gets taken out that accident started how far ahead of where it actually happened that is crazy all because of one guy. I mean, I can't say it's because of one guy got a great run, can I? I guess it would be because the one guy was probably on older tires. One of those guys who just refused to pit and just got a bad run going into the corner had to really slow up. And, you know, the poor one is several trucks back from that incident, but... The end result is the one got wrecked. Man, I can see already Martinsville's just going to be about survival. If you can survive, you're going to get a decent finish. But here we go back green.
caution again. Like I said, a whole lot of them. I really kind of wanted to pit that time, and I, I kind of regret not pitting. Here we go, green. And caution again and luckily by the way in the race I didn't get any incident points from that somehow I drove straight through that guy luckily because that would have probably done some pretty good engine damage and I would not have got the finish I got if it wasn't for that so sometimes net code works in your favor you know a lot of people bitch and there's the 20 coming up showing his displeasure with the 16 blah 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 a lot of people bitch about netcode on this game, you know, but <sighs> sometimes it works in your favor. I mean, it's the thing. You're going to play over the internet, anything, there's, you know, netcode is always going to be an issue. There's no such thing as a perfect netcode. Trust me, or they would have found it by now. We're going to get this thing going back green here. Uh, this is the final restart. Final lap. And that'll do it. First race at Martinsville on here. I gotta say, I don't know what it's gonna be like yet in the B car or the A car, but uh, here in the trucks, it's the nightmare I thought it would be. I'm just too many people being too impatient, too many cautions to really get in a rhythm. But who knows, maybe towards the end of the week. Everyone will be a little bit better at it. So, uh, until next time, peace.